excited y'all guess what this is my first video with my new iphone 13 pro i just had to get out today it's not a very pretty day as you can see behind me the sky is all overcast and cloudy and but i've been wanting to come down here and shoot a video and so i thought today would be a good day to come and get an inaugural video for of my new with my new iphone 13 so where am i that's the big question. Where am I today? Well, let me swing around here and you can see I am in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. I'm in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, and I'm actually on the campus right now of the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Swing around here, you can kind of see some of the campus. This university's been here a long time. They got this neat piece of artwork right here in the front campus. This school is actually on the highway here as you're coming into town, University Avenue. An interesting, an interesting thing about University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, when I graduated high school in 1975, I actually got a scholarship offer to come to school here. Look at that tree, isn't that just gorgeous? Big old oak tree, pin oak. But yeah, I got a, actually got a four year scholarship to come to school here to be in the band. They were trying to recruit people for band, and I was actually a pretty good uh, clarinet player in my old days in high school. Just kind of panning around here and let you see some of the campus. So even though I didn't come to school here, I ended up going to University of Central Arkansas. But I was always grateful that I had this opportunity. If, if I'd had nowhere else to go to college, I could have come to the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Well, let's see what else we can find in Pine Bluff that might be interesting to look at. So I was driving around and I came across this. A closed Western Sizzlin' restaurant. There used to be a lot of these all over Arkansas. When I saw the sign, I thought maybe this one had survived. I think there's still one or two left around. Looks like this one's been closed for quite a while. One reason I wanted to come down here, there was a story on the news here in Arkansas, THV 11, a couple of months ago that Pine Bluff is the fastest shrinking city in America, according to the 2020 census. I believe it said it lost 12 and a half percent of its population left between 2010 and 2020. So that's the, anyway, fast, the fastest shrinking city in America. So that's one reason I wanted to come down here and just kind of see what it was all about. I mean, I live close to Pine Bluff and it gets a bad rap. You know, a lot of bad crime here and, you know, just, uh, well, it's just a tough, you know, when the population's moving out and the tax base is drying up, it's tough. So they've got a big challenge down here. So let's come down here and see if we can give Pine Bluff some love because I think it needs it. <laughs> they got the Budweiser facility looking nice and neat. Got some new little apartments going in over there, some duplexes maybe. Right now I'm on Cherry Street. Oh my, I hear a train. I pulled over here to get a picture of this mansion here. Not sure how to pronounce that. It's more of the Budweiser facility. I'm still kind of in that part of town. I thought those stacks looked pretty neat. And I am here on my side of track. Maybe I'll hang out and see if a train comes by. All right, well, I'm downtown Pine Bluff. You can see here. Thought I'd take a little stroll down the sidewalk and see what's going on. It's pretty quiet today, and if you're wondering, you know, what day I'm here on and why it's so quiet, I am actually here on Thanksgiving Day. I figured it'd be a good time to come down here and shoot some video. I like that, the art space on Main, art works. It'd be pretty neat to look at. This is uh, actually the first 
Thanksgiving in many years that I haven't uh, been cooking at my house. Normally I would have been cooking starting yesterday and been up super early this morning cooking. So it felt kind of nice not to have to do that this year. And, all right, hey, I'm, it's a pretty nice little area downtown. Let me show you what I'm looking at here. All right, there you go. We've got the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff Business Support Incubator and Office Complex. And then right here, kind of close to it, is the library. So pretty cool. a little bit further down Main Street. I was down that direction. So I've come down here and man this is just sad. Look at this. It's, it's like a bunch of empty storefronts all the way down this side of the street. It's hard to tell. There might be some businesses in some of these spots, but I think it's safe to say there's nothing happening in that location. Wow. Let's go see what that is down there. But I want you to look at this landscaping that's been done here. On this street with all these dilapidated closed up buildings they got this beautiful sidewalk and this great landscape we just need somebody to come in here and open up this is a pretty neat mural on the side of this building it says main street 1888 nice little plaza here a little park of course right across the street you can see over there by my car Burned, a bit dilapidated. Yeah, I think they had a fire. That's right, they had a fire down here a few years ago. I remember that now. Looks like another mural down here at a place called Burt's. Let's go see what that is. Burt's. It's a restaurant. sports ball you know it's got potential just need some people need some money come down here somebody come spend some money all right I think I'm through with my little tour of Pine Bluff and I have to say it is kind of sad. Lots of closed up um, businesses and lots of closed up homes as well. It's really kind of sad. No, I don't need a ride. I'm actually over here at the casino right now. You can see there's a shuttle van. I guess waiting to see if I need a ride in. But I'll just walk. I'm not too far. I'm going to come over here. They've got a great buffet in here. I'm going to have my Thanksgiving dinner uh, here at the casino. And then I might put a little money in a slot machine and see if I have any luck on Thanksgiving. Let's go find out. I didn't win any money, but I didn't lose too much either. All in all, it was a fun day, but I miss my family. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell, and I will see you in the next video.